you through how to use the help function. I've used many different programming languages like Python, R, JavaScript, um, and Stata has one of the most fundamentally helpful help commands. Usually, if you type it in on a programming language, you will get some unstructured command or they differ because there are very many custom packages, but Stata is a paid piece of software and is therefore majorly made by the same company, which standardizes everything and makes it very easy to understand or read. So let's take a look at how to use the help command in Stata. So here we have again our auto data set open and what you could do is simply type help and then tabulate the command that we just used in our previous video. So here you see that tabulate has multiple options here. All the black text is information that is static. You can click on it, it doesn't change. But the blue text are hyperlinks to different functions. So there are multiple types of tabulate functions that you can do. So you can click on tabulate one way to get to this following file. It shows you that there are two types of commands under the tabulate one way command. Now, it always looks like this. First, you have the abbreviation, in this case, tab or TA, which is underscore here. You can also write out the entire word, but when programming, I'm rather lazy, so I'd like to not, I'd like not to. And then you have the variable name or variable list. And this is really important. Variable name means you can only select one variable. A variable list means that you can put in multiple variables. You don't have to, but you can. It's optional. But a var list can also contain one variable, but it can contain any amount you'd basically like. Then it shows if, in, and wait, which means that within the function, you can apply if statements. So tabulate if car is foreign, for instance, or domestic. And you can also use in and waiting functions that we maybe go through later. And last, you have the options that are usually given in brackets with a comma. Now this is the same structure for every stata command. Main command, what are the main inputs and outputs? Our names for lists of say dependent or independent variables for a regression, or in this case, just the things you'd like to tabulate, and then comma for the options. And here you see it's called tabulate options. You can either click on that to go to detail and look at all of them. So here you see the options that you have. You can treat missing observations as a specific value. You cannot show your frequencies, not the labels. You can give a small plot on the side if you'd like. And you can generate and do other operations. So there are many different things you can do with that. Now this structure is similar for every other command. So if you use tab sum, help sum, what you get is that you again see two types of help commands. One for summarize and one for the sum function, which is a cumulative sum. Let's type summarize one. You again see you can abbreviate it which we did before, and you can enter in a var list, which are multiple variables like we did before with a specific set of options to only give me the mean, to give me the detailed summary statistics and many other information. So yeah, this basically concludes our state of tutorial for today. I thank you very much for listening and I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you and see you next time.